take It's supposed to go both ways This broken heart is hardly worth the price you didn't pay Good morning, good morning ladies and gentlemen We're gonna attempt to get out of here It is a mess here everywhere in Calgary now With all this slush and melting going on It's a disaster But hey, we gotta go uh, deliver our load We got about 15 minutes worth of driving to do and then we'll be there and get unloaded and then find out what kind of reload we get obviously right but uh, yeah let's find turn out and then turn left we did have us a good meters. night last night with JP mallet yes indeed we did we had us an awesome steak as you guys saw and the other thing is we managed to uh, to get us a uh, power cord for my laptop so that is on again let it charge overnight and the battery is 100% now so that makes me happy 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 yes indeed I certainly still don't have a reload yet so I don't know if they're kind of slow in this area or what but if I would have had a reload, I would have probably gotten up a little bit earlier and got her going, but uh, we didn't have a reload yet, so I said, ah, well, I'll just take my time. I called him uh, yesterday anyways, like the customer, and I asked him how it works over there, if it's first come, first serve, and I said, yep, yeah, it's first come, first serve, and and they're open from 8 till 3 he said so uh, no big rush to get over there I guess so we'll uh, make our way down there and hopefully they'll get us in the dock right away right that's always the plan yeah I see the big rocky mountains up there in the background there. It'd be kind of hard for the GoPro to pick it up, but way over there in the distance, I see them big rocky mountains. Yeah. I just kind of hope we get a load from here to go home because, uh, I mean, right now I only have 10 hours left on the logbook and I only get nine hours back tomorrow. So we kind of need, we need uh, we need to go back home so we can uh, do a reset at home and get some stuff fixed on the truck again. That where I uh, pour in the oil into the engine there in the bottom is a piece that's cracked. So I'm gonna have to try and get that fixed. It's like almost every week you get something, right? But anyways, we'll make our way down to the delivery and then. Uh, go from there guys all right we have gotten our load off now and we have also gotten ourselves a reload as well so we're gonna hammer down towards our reload our reload is out of Madison Hat Alberta yeah that means probably about three and a half hours maybe even four hours worth of driving before we get there and then uh, do our trailer switch and we'll see if we still feel like driving any further tonight uh, I might drive a little bit we'll see how late I get there and all that stuff well it looks like actually you know what I got another 240 kilometers to go I already gotten uh, probably about 30 clicks uh, right now so it's actually about three hours drive then up to Madison Hat so uh, I should be there probably let's say give or take four o'clock yeah I got two so three four four thirty I think I should be there that's not too bad and do my trailer switch there probably get out of there by by five o'clock maybe five fifteen maybe I'll be out of there make my way home so I can do a little bit of driving tonight yet then uh, I'll be a-okay for making our home tomorrow even from Madison that I can I can make that home in one day that's no problem but uh, hey 
I drive a little bit more today, I don't have to do quite as much tomorrow, right? That's usually the plan, right? But anyways, uh, we're uh, going to hammer down towards there and uh, see what happens. Well guys, we are empty and uh, we've been getting some uh, wind warnings here, uh, notifications on my phone. And uh, yeah, so I checked it out. I stopped there a little bit ago and it's like a 45 mile an hour wind gust thing up here. So we gotta be a little bit careful down here today. Yeah. Oh well. Hopefully we can make it safely to Madison Hat. We got another 118 kilometers to go. Should be in Brooks here in 10 minutes or less and then uh, just continue on cruising along here I know uh, it's late in the afternoon already we haven't videotaped too much today but uh, hey, that's the way it is sometimes you get more shots and sometimes less right but whatever we do try to make a video every day and trying to make it as interesting as we can possibly make it but uh, hey Let's continue on with our journey. Do what we can. Stay safe out here and at least do our best to do it, right? I hope the wind dies down a little bit. I was kind of hoping I could fly my drone out here today somewhere yet. But now with the strong wind, I won't be able to do that. It's just too windy. Yeah, guys, we have just got an hour reload on. Now we're hammered down trying to get out of Madison hat and then uh, we'll make our way home sweet home ladies and gentlemen I'm excited yes indeed I am can't wait to go home and spend the time with the family again and all that good stuff and although it is still very windy oh look at them two rabbits there on the right side there was a black one and a brown one <laughs> The black one was chasing the brown one. <laughs> I don't know if the camera managed to pick it up, but uh, I thought that was cute. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, we got 1114 kilometers to do before we get home. So I'm going to attempt to do a little bit yet tonight. I have no idea how far I'm going to make it, but I'm sort of thinking probably a swift current because that's about two and a half hours from here you know that cuts it down you know two and a half hours less that I have to do tomorrow right the other thing is too I'm in Canada if I'm on my way home I can just take an eight hour break and be back on the road again after eight hours and hammer down home right so I might I might consider doing that. I'm not 100% sure. I although I do want to I got to catch up on the video editing yet a little bit. So uh, in 200 meters. Turn left I might on. work on low. my videos a little bit and then uh, and then that might be a little bit more than an 8 hour break. So uh, cuz I like to have my 8 hours of sleep. So we'll see, I guess. But I'm happy that I'm going home and I finally got me a load on because this wind is just terrible today. Super, super, super strong. So I needed a load so that way I can stay on the road a little better. Although we made it here safely, right? That's a good point too. Even though we were with an empty trailer, we still managed to get here safely. And then when I get home, we're going to, we already booked the truck into the shop. We're going to try and get that air or that uh, exhaust Continue pipe leak there fixed. I'm sure kilometers. you guys can hear that on the video as well. And you just imagine driving with that all day long. It is annoying like heck. I hate it. <laughs> I really do. Well, what can I do, right? I can't fix it myself. Well, I guess I could if I 
had the clamp and whatever, right? But I don't have the clamp with me and probably gonna need a new clamp or a gasket or something and and then we should be okay. But that sun is starting to go down over there, so we will probably be limited to daylight here pretty soon. But yeah, let's make our way out of Madison at Alberta. I have made it to Karen Port, Saskatchewan, yes. Which is only about half an hour to uh, Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan. And then uh, yeah, I figured yeah, up here at the Husky there usually isn't too much of a problem here with parking so uh, I decided to go ahead and park right here and call it a day. Yeah we can continue on with the rest tomorrow so it's only quarter to ten right now so I figured yeah, that's it good enough for today. We can continue on tomorrow right? That's the plan anyway so uh, I know I haven't had too much of a video clip today, but hey, that's the way some days goes, right? Some days we have more, some days we have less. But uh, hey, if you guys have any ideas on uh, what you would like to see on the show or any suggestions or anything like that, if they're not too crazy, then uh, we'll uh, try and work on that. Maybe we can uh, get something different, different ideas or whatever. I really wanted to fly my drone today, but... That wind was just way too strong, like 40, 45 mile an hour winds, and mine can only fly 35 mile an hour. So, uh, yeah, that would have taken it uh, away from me. <laughs> yeah, so uh, there was no way I was going to be able to do that, but uh, that's all right. Maybe tomorrow will be a different day. Maybe tomorrow we get lucky, and maybe we can fly it tomorrow. Maybe it's safe to do so tomorrow. And we'll be able to show you some footage of that again. But in the meantime, we're done for today. So we appreciate you guys watching. If you have indeed liked this video, do me a favor and actually share the video. That would muchly be appreciated. That tells people about my video, right? So uh, if you don't share it, nobody really finds out about my video so, uh, or about my channel. So. Uh, do me a huge favor and share that video. And uh, if you're new to our channel, we'd love to have you on board by hitting that subscribe button on there below. And with that being said, we make videos every day pretty much. Every once in a while we do take a break. But hey, it's a much needed break then too, right? So uh, generally we are every day at 2 a.m. Central Standard Time. So uh, then we'll see you right here tomorrow. If you would. So we'll see you then. Have a good one. It's time to get going. It's time to move on. Put this behind me. That day is gonna come.